This is a test just to check that the audio is recording properly. Hello there. Welcome to this week's art lesson. And we're going to start our art lesson the way that we normally do by looking at a piece of artwork. So um, we're going to go back this week to look at some collage work, the surrealist collages that we looked at last lockdown which were really popular and I know people really, really enjoyed. So I thought it'd be good to, to go back and we'll, we're going to use them today, but in a completely different way. So we're going to start off today by looking at this piece of artwork. And I want you to pause the video and think about what you can see in the artwork. Okay, hopefully you've managed to have a really good look at the, the artwork. Um, I'm going to zoom in on a few areas. Um, you can see there that we've got a, a deer, which is obviously not scale because it's much, much larger um, than the girl who's further down. And we've got these flowers that the deer is sitting around, which make it look small um, in relation to the scale of these huge flowers which are towering above it. In the background we can think about where this might be set. It looks like it might be set in the Alps or somewhere out in the country. Um, we've got this girl on a cobbled street um, coming down here near the, near the deer. And you might want to think about when this um, piece of artwork takes place as well. Um, some of the images look like they could be quite old, but was it created a long time ago or was it um, created recently? That's something for you to have a think about. There wasn't much information about this piece of artwork. I didn't know the artist or the date that it was created. Um, so it's really just up to us to ask those questions and to, to think about when we think it might have been created and what the artist was thinking about at the time. Okay. Think about now, what media did the artist use? So was it using paint, pencil? Is it um, collage? Is it collage of photographs? Are there any parts the artist drew themselves or painted themselves? Did the artist use computer to help them to create this piece of artwork? So you can pause the video and have a think about that. Okay, if you were going to put this one into your visual element gallery, which visual element do you think is strongest? Which room would you put it in? Are you going to put it into line? Are you going to put it into colour, um, pattern or texture? or shape and form. I think this is quite a difficult one this week to choose um, to choose one visual element. So have a think about which one you think is strongest and which um, of the rooms of your gallery you would put this in. Okay. And lastly, what does the artwork make you think about or make you feel? Why do you think the artist put all these images together? So obviously it's not a photograph of that was just taken. It looks like lots of photographs that have been collaged. Um, but what was the artist trying to tell us or what were they trying to communicate with us? What were they trying to say? What does it make you feel? Does it make you feel calm, relaxed? Does it make you want to go outside for a walk? Or do you not like the size of that deer and think it maybe looks a wee bit scary because it's quite big? Perhaps um, you wouldn't like to be out there. Or perhaps you're looking at going, oh, those mountains and the sunshine really makes you think of spring and it makes you want to go outside. So have a think about what the artwork makes you think about and what it makes you feel. Okay, and once you've done that, you can have a look for the next part of the lesson. So there'll be a part for primary four and five, and there's a part for primary six and seven.